Last week, we talked about finding the missing concentration sa mixture problems. This time, we're going to find naman yung concentration ng mga hinalo, hindi yung resulta. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. No? Like I said, kanina pag-usapan natin kung nawawala naman yung hinalo na concentration or na percentage. Yun na pag-usapan natin. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, go and check out our merch shop, so shop.teamlika.com. That's where you can get the shirts, the hoodies, the caps, the things that I designed for this team. Maraming salamat sa inyong support. Tayo. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, ito yung discussion natin on mixture problems. This is part 2. Yung unang part, we talked about yung basic concept at kung paano hanapin yung magiging resulta kapag nag-combine tayo ng dalawa o minsan higit pa uh, na solutions, no? Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin yung pag hinahanap natin, yung isa sa mga hinalo, okay? Now, ganito yung itsura nung tanong. And again, shout out kay Shiori Josh. Uh, thank you for watching. Yung kanyang magulang nanonood din ng video. So, uh, ni-request nila na i-mention ko yung name. And if you want me to use your name for yung mga susunod natin mga video sa mga example natin, i-comment nyo lang sa baba para maipila natin yan. Okay? So, si Josh daw, mix 12 ml or 12 milliliters of a saline solution. Ang saline, ibig sabihin yan, may salt. Okay? Um, parang yung ginagamit ng dextrose kapag ikaw ay nakoconfine sa hospital. So, 12 ml daw nung saline solution with 8 ml of a 45% saline solution to make a 48% saline solution. Ang inahanap, what is the salt concentration of the first solution? Na ano pinagkaiba nito dun sa una nating discussion? Yung una nating discussion, ang inahanap yung naging resulta. Ang ngayon, ang nawawala yung first solution. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man itong 12 ml na yan, hindi natin alam kung ano yon. Now, how do we solve this? Again, babalik lang tayo dun sa format na may mga buckets tayo here. And again, kaya sinestress ko, if you haven't seen part 1 yet, panoorin nyo muna yon. Kasi yun yung pinaka-concept nito. Pero ang idea is that, yung unang hinahalo, so whatever this is, siya ito, Tapos yung pangalawa na ihahalo sa kanya, ito namang 8 ml of a 45% saline solution, siya naman yung pangalawang bucket. At yung magiging resulta nila, yung kalalabasan nila, yun naman yung 48% na saline solution, siya naman yung bucket number 3. Okay? Na ano nang gagawin natin ngayon? Ilalagay lang muna natin or ilalapag natin lahat ng information na binigay dun sa problem. Now, simulan natin dun sa 12 ml. Ibig sabihin yung unang hinalo, ang dami niya ay 12 ml. Yung pangalawa, ito nga yun, 8 ml daw siya, tapos ang percentage niya or ang concentration niya ay 45%. Now, ang kinalabasan, sabi, ay 48%. Pero hindi sinabi kung ano ito, yung percentage no una. Siya actually yung hinahanap, kasi yung hinahanap, what is the salt concentration of the first solution? Now, how do we complete this? Again, sabi natin, pag in natin ito, you have 12 plus 8, ang kalalabasan niya ay 20 ml. So, ibig sabihin, yung end product, 20 ml ang dami niya. Meron tayong tapang at dami. Okay? Tapos, isusolve na natin sila. Isusulat na natin yung equation natin. So, imumultiply natin ito, yung first bucket. So, you have 12 times x, okay, as the first bucket plus. And then here, we have yung uh, 8 ml na 45%. So, again, pwede mo siyang i-multiply like this. 45 times 8. Again, you can use 0.45 kasi percentage siya. Pero ako, I prefer lang na i-whole number siya. Tapos, sa uh, final na answer ko na lang ilalagay yung percentage. Okay? Tapos, equal daw ito sa 48% times, okay, dahil hindi nga natin ilalagay yung percent, 48 na lang, times 20 ml. Okay? So, isosolve na natin ito ngayon. You have 12x here, plus 45 times 8. Now, ako ang ginagawa ko dito would be dalawang 45 kasi is 90. So, apat na 90 na lang. You have 360. Equal siya sa 48 times 20. So, ang 48 times 2 is 96. So, times 20, 960 yan. 
Okay? So, iwan natin yung 12x dito kasi para maiwan yung x sa isang side. Ito, inilipat natin sa kabilang side. Dahil positive siya dito, magiging negative siya pag nilipat natin siya. So, this will be 960 minus 360. So, now we have 12x is equal to ano ang 960 uh, minus 360? That would give us 600. Okay? Tapos, divide natin both sides by 12. So, makakancel ngayon itong side na ito. May iwan yung x. Ang x ay equal sa 600 divided by 12 or simply 50 na lang. So, anong sagot natin? Ang sagot ay 50%. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang concentration of first solution, itong naman itong bucket na to ay 50%. Okay? Now, if you want to make sure, pwede mong i-check yung 50 times 12, magiging 600 yon. Tapos, plus ang 45 naman times yung binigay na 8, that is 360. Equal ba siya sa 48 times 20? Of course, it is, no? Kasi 960. So, again, 960 yan. Magiging 960 to. Tama tayo dyan. So, indeed, 50% ang sagot. Okay? So, again, it's all about drawing your buckets, filling it with the right information, tapos solve nyo lang pababa, and you'll get the correct answer. Okay? Now, it's your turn. Magka-quiz na tayo. So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, isosolve nyo lang itong tatlong problems na ito. Tapos, uh, isosolve natin mamaya. Magpakita ko sa inyo yung tama sagot at paano yun makuha. And if you're ready, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, dito, you have three questions right here. So, wala sa number one. This is from Haley. So, hi, Haley. Hindi ito yung si Haley na, ano ha, na baby ko ha, uh, yung aking poppy. Ibang Haley ito. 
So, thank you for watching my videos. Sabi ni Haley mixed 10 ml or 10 milliliters of a saline solution with 12 ml of a 46% saline solution. Ang naging resulta ay 41% saline solution. So, it's a lot like yung first nating problem kanina. Okay? So, again, i-label muna natin sila. You have yung 10 ml as the first bucket. Tapos yung sumunod is yung 12 ml na 46%. Tapos sumunod yung 41%. Okay, so lalagay lang natin siya dun sa blanks. Dito meron kang 10 ml. Tapos hindi natin alam kung ano yung percentage niya. Tapos dito naman, you have 46%. Tapos ang dami niya naman ay 12 ml. Tapos dito sa kalalabasan, we have 41%. Tapos ang dami niya, pag pinagsama natin yung 10 tsaka 12, that will be 22 ml. Okay, so isulat na natin yung ating uh, magiging equation. We have 10x plus yung 46 times 12, equal siya sa 41 times 22. Okay? So, okay na to. Solid na yung 10x natin. Plus, 46 na lang times 12. So, pwede na siyang 460 plus 92. You have 552. Equal siya sa 41 times 22. Or, ano na lang siya? 902. Now, again, pwede niyong i-decimal yan. Sa akin lang, it's easier to deal with big numbers kesa sa decimals. Kaya, Ganyan ko siyang sinosolve, no? So, dito, may iwan na sa isang side yung 10x. Ilipat natin ito sa kabilang side. Magiging 902 minus 552. So, we have 10x is equal to, ang 902 minus 552 is going to give us 350. We divide natin both sides by 10. Okay, so, makakancel natin ito. May iwan yung x. Ang kalalabasan niyan, di ba, nakakancel lang natin yan is 30. Five. At dahil percentage ang inahanap, di ba? Kasi concentration ang inahanap, this will be 35%. Okay? Yan yung sagot natin. So, the first item, ang sagot, 35%. Doon na tayo sa pangalawa, si Dave naman. So, again, hi Dave. And if you want me to use your name next time, uh, comment nyo lang yung pangalan ninyo or loved one nyo sa baba. Okay? Para magigyan natin sila na shoutout. Sabi, Dave mixed 12 ml of an acidic solution. Okay, so ito yung first one. With 8 ml of a 42% acidic solution, at ang kinalabasan niya ay 47 acidic solution. Find the percent acid concentration of the first solution. So nawawala yung kapares ng 12 ml. Okay, so this will be X. This will be 12 ml. And alam niyo sa totoo lang, very therapeutic yung ganitong klaseng tanong kapag alam mo na yung ginagawa mo. Kasi it's all about filling in yung information and solving it. Nakaka-enjoy din siya sa totoo lang, lalo na if you keep getting the right answer, no? So, ito, 47%. I-add lang natin sila. Magiging 20 ml siya. Sulat natin. So, we have 12x. Tapos, plus 42 times 8 is equal to 47 times 20. Okay, so 12x na lang muna plus ang 42 times 8 is 336. You can multiply it mano-mano or um, what I do is 420 kasi yung, ang 10 so babawasan ko lang siya ng 84. Pareho naman ang sagot, 336 din yon. Equal siya sa 47, 47 times 20 or 47 times 2 na lang, 94. Tapos dagdagan mo ng 0 sa end, you have 940. Tapos, 12x, lipat natin uli ito, positive siya. So, dito sa side na ito, magiging negative siya. Minus 336. You have 12x is equal to, ang 940 minus 336 is going to give us 604. So, we divide natin both sides sa 12 para makancel ito. Maiiwan yung x is equal to 604 divided by 12 or 50.33. Kasi ano yan eh? Parang hindi natatapos na number yan. Percent. Okay? Kung sinabi ng teacher ninyo na round it up to the nearest um, hundreds, the, ano, kahit 50.33 na lang. Okay? Yan yung ating sagot. Now, dito na tayo sa number 3. Now, there's a trap here, much like yung ginawa natin last time. Kasi halos kahawig din yung tanong, pero may ibang dimension siyang hinahanap. Sabi dito, Andy Boy, and again, hi kay Andy Boy, no? So, Andy Boy mixed 12 liters of strawberry juice into 9 liters of mango juice. So, naging strawberry mango yung juice niya, no? And yung 9, 9 liters na yan, 47% sugar siya. 
Now, yung new mixture daw, naging sugar ay 58%. At tinatanong, what part of the strawberry juice wasn't sugar? Okay? I-emphasize ko itong hinahanap is kung ano yung wasn't or hindi. Hindi sugar. So, anong pwede natin gawin dyan? Kukunin natin yung sugar, tapos yung difference nila sa 100%, yun yung totoong sagot. Okay? Now, simulan muna natin isolve yung uh, nawawalang percentage. Okay? So, we have 12 liters here. Hindi natin alam kung ilan to. Tapos, ihahalo daw siya sa 9 liters. Ito yun na mango juice na 47%, ang kinalabasan ay 58%. Okay? At pag pinagsama ko ito, ang 12 plus 9 ay 21. Pag sinolve ko ito, magiging 12x plus 47 times 9, okay, is equal to 58 times 21. So, this will be 12x plus ang 47 times 9, I 423 is equal to ang 58 naman times 21 is 1,218. Okay? Iwan natin yung 12x dito sa side na ito. 1218. Tapos, dahil positive siya again, magiging minus ito. 423. 12x is equal to 1,218 minus 423 which is going to give us 795. Divide natin both sides sa 12. Maka-cancel ngayon ito. Okay? So, maiiwan sa atin yung x is equal to 795 divided by 12, which is going to give us 66.25%. Now, ito na yung catch dito. Etong, etong 66.25, yan ay yung percentage ng first solution. Percentage ng sugar content niya to. Okay? Ito yung laman na sugar. Pero ang hinahanap is kung ano yung was not sugar. So, anong gagawin natin? Gagawin natin 100% minus yung 66.25%. Kasi kung ito yung total ng lahat ng laman nung, nung strawberry juice at uh, 66.25 ang asukal, ang matitira lang dyan, yun lang yung hindi asukal which is 33.75%. So, anong tamang sagot? Ang sagot ay 33.75% at hindi 66.25. Okay? Now, again, inunote ko sa inyo, if you're taking the OPCAT or ibang mga CETs, civil service exam, or kahit anong aptitude exam, they like putting in yung mga details like this. Kasi kung master na master mo na yung formula ng ganito, sometimes we assume na yun na agad yung gagawin natin kasi hindi natin napapansin yung wasn't. Kaya nalalagay ko to sa inyo uh, sa mga questions na ito para mahuli nyo siya para pag mag exam kayo, mas, mas careful na kayo. Okay? Kasi minsan confident tayo ang taas ng score natin. Pero pagdating nung totoong resulta, mababa pala. Kasi nadadali tayo ng ganyang details. Okay? So, ingat kayo sa ganyan. I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account then. If you don't follow me yet, you can find me at Team Laika on Instagram or meron din tayo yung personal account ko at Laika Maravilla. I post yung quick quizzes natin sa Instagram story para pwede kayong mag-respond at malaman nyo agad kung tama kayo o mali. And if you're on TikTok, you can find me rin sa TikTok at Team Laika for the Math and English Lessons. Tapos yung mga mas personal stuff naman, motivational uh, videos, advice, tips, you can find sa at Laika Maravilla on TikTok. Okay? See you guys online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. Dapat yung salami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviews that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team Laika. If you have any requests then for future videos, comment yun na lang sa baba. And don't, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga paparating pa lang na lessons. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan next. Including yung pag namawala naman yung amount or paano kapag pure, paano kang pagtatlo sila, paano yung mga iba-ibang scenario na yan. Pag-usapan natin next time. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kain yan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.